Hi class, today I'd like to talk about uh, swing drums and reason. There's a lot of different ways that we can do this. Um, and I just want to show you a pretty easy way. If we're going to do a simple drum pattern for swing, we know that we have kick um, that's on all four beats. I tend to put the first beat strong um, so that we have just a kick going here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then, of course, we know we have hi-hat. Now, I've chosen to have a, a hi-hat uh, that's a closed foot hi-hat, this one here. So you can change your hi-hat. You know, there's all different kinds of crazy hi-hats. But that's an acoustic one, HH1 foot. You can see as soon as I open up in hi-hats, it, it just gives me all the specific hi-hats. And we have loads to choose from. So I'm going to put this on two and four, of course two and four, and if I play that, one, two, three, four, and we're going to solo this out, so you're going to hear three, four. Now, if you wanted to do nothing else, you could set that pattern up to run for your entire thing, and, and have kick in and hi-hat, as I have here, and just play, and now it's playing my pattern. And you're like, well, what about my ride, you know, the thing that's really going to swing? So what I've done is... Um, I've I've have on number five here this rare uh, ride symbol, and I can play this in my oxygen eight, and give it like that real feel, just playing that part. I'm not a drummer, but I could I can probably do a ride thing, so that I've created a lane here for recording, as well. I did that by hitting this uh, new lane here. See, we can do that, or I can uh, delete that lane. Um, Oh, don't want to delete the device though. So I'll get rid of that lane. So here I have a new lane. I'll show you. This was I just had pattern and then I hit new dub and now I have a recording lane. So now I'm going to actually do a, a recording track. So I'm going to hit record. Two, three, four. And I might put this on. I might put this on after um, after I've already recorded some of my tracks, so I'll make sure it, the hits go with the comping and stuff. So and now I'll, I'll get those extra couple bars there. See, we got that. A little messy, but it, now it's alive and changing every pattern, and that's a pretty simple way to do that. Now, if I choose, I could get rid of this, and if I just want to automate, just want to automate uh, a simple swing pattern, then the thing to do is, I've got my ride, that's this one right here, now I'm going to put in, and so what are we going to have? We're going to have one, two, and I'm going to use sixteenths, but I'm going to have shuffle selected here, so it's sort of going to um, not be a straight sixteenth. One, two, and three, four, and. And if I play that... And then down here, a global shuffle pattern, you can see that I can control how much of that shuffle is in there. So I'm just going to put in about maybe 54%, 4% over normal. And that won't be so bad. And so now, <clears throat> when I have my track, then I can just play that. Everything's in there. Three, four, one. And it's a little stale, but it is there. So that if I want to go ahead and put in my bass line, and I have just like a regular, a regular acoustic bass, and so I could be walking my bass line, and you know, and I'll go this. And you hear how that went. All right, for some reason that didn't record, but that's okay. That's neither here nor there. Um, <clears throat> so you could hear how that went. And so uh, we have a, a couple other different ways that we could do it, but that'll get you your basic, basic kind of thing going. Um, if you have more questions, you can ask me, and you know I'll try and help you out.